الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد أحبت في الله Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says fi kitabi al-kareem wa qada rabbukum ala ta'abudu illa iyahu wa bil walidayni ihsan Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says and your lord has ordered you, commanded you that you should not worship any besides him. And to your parents be righteous or do good to be obedient to your parents. This shows us that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has linked along with Tawheed, along with his right, the right of the parents. That you should not be arrogant towards your parents. You should not speak ill of or ill to your parents. That you should be obedient to your parents regardless of whether they're Muslim or not. That it is so serious and so severe of a sin to violate that, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has linked it and mentioned it along with Tawheed, along with worshiping Him and Him alone. So do everything you can to please your parents, to be obedient, to win their favor. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us of our many shortcomings. Ameen, ya Rabbil Alameen. And in the beginning of the ayat, Allah said, وَقَضَى رَبُّكُمْ That your Lord has commanded. That you should not worship except other than Him. So here is a decree from your Lord, a command. A command which prohibits you from worshiping other than Him. Letting us know that it is absolutely unacceptable. It's completely haram to involve yourself in kufr and shirk. And may Allah forgive us. Allahumma inni a'udhu bika and ushrika bika wa ana a'lamu astaghfiruka li mina a'lamu. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us for in any way that we may have committed kufr. Or in any way we may have committed shirk with un unknowingly, knowingly and unknowingly. And that along with that command and that prohibition, Allah has then commanded that we are righteous with the parents and obedient to the parents, serving the parents. So this is something especially for our youth because many of the youth, they don't seem to really grasp this. They speak ill and talk crazy and even go so far as to attack and violate the rights of their parents and disobey their parents, lie and cheat their parents. How do you think you will be in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with this kind of disobedience to him? Something that he is linked with his right. As the Prophet والسلام, said in authentic hadith, When riding on the donkey with Mu'adh ibn Jabal radiallahu ta'ala anhu
And Prophet Sallallahu said, Ya Mu'adh, tadri ma haqq Allah al-Ali Atadri ma haqq Allah al-Ibadi Wa ma haqq al-Ibadi al-Allah O Mu'adh, do you know the right of Allah upon His servant and the right of the servant upon Allah? And Mu'adh replied by saying, Allah wa Rasuluhu a'lam Allah and His Messenger know best He then said, Haqq Allah al-Ibadi and ya'buduhu wa la tushriku bi shayin Wala you should Wala you should Wakali Badi Allah and La Yuadiba men la you should be shame. The right of Allah upon his servant is that he worships him and him alone. And the right of the servant upon Allah is that Allah will not punish the one who does not associate partners with him, that has never committed any form of shirk. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us to be of those whom he enters Jannah to Fardos and forgive us of our many sins, the many crimes we've done against ourselves, and the violations of Tawheed, and the violations with regards to our parents. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyana Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.